Levi always knew that the reveal of his affair with Mackenzie would make for a pretty awkward working environment, with both he and heartbroken wife Imogen based at St. Christopher's Hospital in the city. Whilst Levi heads up the cardiothoracic unit, Imogen works as an occupational therapist, and on his return to work he finds that word has got around fast. When Levi returns to the farmhouse next week, he tells Mac that he's surprised at the amount of snide comments he received from colleagues he'd worked with for years. After a sleepless night, Levi comes to realize that the patients are ultimately going to suffer if the team are sniping at each other. With Imogen also the subject of gossip, Levi figures that it's time for him to resign. Meanwhile, Mac isn't having a much better time at Salt, working with Felicity who is giving her attitude on behalf of best mate and Levi's sister Eden. Eden was devastated to discover the affair, having bonded with Imogen, and decided that her brother was no better than their father who had left the family home when she was 15 following his own affair. After a decade or more estranged from her brother, after he chose to go and live with their dad, Eden has made it very clear that she intends to cut him out of her life again. That has placed Flick in an awkward position, working in partnership at Salt with the woman who has caused her bestie so much pain and she was sure to make her disapproval known in front of a full restaurant of customers. Ander and events coordinator Zander, as well as the rest of the SALT staff, have all been caught up in the middle of Mac and Flick's feud, yet have no idea of the reasons behind it. It's Kirby who eventually spills the beans to Xander on Mac's affair, much to the chagrin of her new employer Molly. Xander's annoyed at apparently being the last to know, and decides to call a meeting with Mac and Flick. He informs them both that their bickering and avoiding work is causing dissent in the ranks. Three casuals have called in sick today, and Xander knows full well that they're not ill, it's just that they've seen the bosses don't care. Mac and Flick agree to both pick up the slack that day, but as Mac attempts to find common ground with Flick by sympathizing with Tane's current situation, Flick takes further offense. When Flick later spots Mac offloading to Xander, she accuses Xander of taking sides. Xander yells at them both to shut up and storms out. Flick and Mac follow him downstairs where he tells them that it's become impossible to work with them, he quits. <laughs>